Hey everybody, Wing Time here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, working on my Jeep and uh, putting a fuel injection kit on there. And I have to run new fuel lines and an in-tank fuel pump. And I'm using this Russell Racing uh, fuel line. I got it from Tanks Inc. It's rated for 250 PSI, so this is a fuel injected rated hose and I'm using AN fittings. This is what they call their, their twist lock hose and their twist lock fittings. And you're supposed to just be able to press the barbs of the fitting into the end of the hose. Uh, and they got different shapes. I got a 45 here and a straight and some other ones. But, um, you know, you go online, you look at it and they say, yeah, basically grease it up, put it in there and press it in. Well, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Maybe if you're a gorilla or the Hulk or something, um, you know, I was putting the fitting in the vise, taking the hose, taking two hands, pushing on it with all my might and twisting and so forth, getting it halfway, it's stuck, tried heating it up, uh, finally got it on, my hands hurt the next day because I'm just pressing on it so hard. And they sell a little, a couple of little tools. One's like 230 bucks. I mean, I'm putting like six or eight fittings in. I don't, I'm not gonna spend 230 bucks. There's another uh, little kind of pliers-looking thing that AeroQuip sells. Looks nice. It's not, a, it's not very expensive. 20, 30 bucks. But it's plastic. Heard they break. So, and uh, you know, doing the ones in the vise, eh, you know, it's one thing. Um, some of the things I have to do on the on the Jeep. So I tried. Uh, using a small drill press vise to uh, clamp the fitting and I was clamping uh, uh, some pliers uh, these weird kind of vice grip pliers here that were for holding a nut on, on the hose and pushing on and I ended up actually uh, cheating and using a couple of these you know carpenter type clamps to pull it together and actually worked pretty good I'm like well there's got to be a better way I can do this so this is what I came up with I 3d printed some parts 3D printed this block. It's a little smaller diameter than the outside of the diameter of the hose to clamp the hose. The hose goes in here, clamp it down. Then I made a couple of different blocks here to hold the AN fitting. This is just it's this cube <laughs> with the tight fitting hexagon in there, and then the fitting drops in there. And the idea is clamp the hose, put this here in there get a pair of carpenter uh, squeeze clamps and squish it together. Um, I just did one on the Jeep, underneath the Jeep. Works fantastic. Uh, definitely a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do one here. Um, I haven't really used these uh, ones. These are little vice chip, vice uh Claws that I've made to go or, or protectors going to vice to grip the uh, the end fitting. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let me get this uh, set up and because uh, I don't have three hands and we'll try to put one together. Okay, so I'll give this a try. I've got my end fitting in my little uh, vice grip blocks to protectors. Put in the vise. I guess I could also maybe use my uh, little block I printed here, but the vise will hold things still for me. Got some grease on there, uh, help the hose slide in, some uh, assembly grease, and I've got the hose here with my little clamp on there, clamped onto it. It's good and tight. Got about half a finger's worth sticking out. And uh, let's see if I can do this with being short handed here. Of course, the fuel line wants to pull all this junk off my workbench that is desperately needing for cleaning. So I'm gonna get this on here, get it started by hand. Uh, and <laughs> you can see it's. I'm gonna try to do this. Apologize for the camera work here. Get, at least get it started. And it doesn't even want to start. You know what? I'm just gonna get started, stop the camera, come back to you with it started. Hold on. Okay, so I've got the hose started on the. Uh, twist block barb on the AN fitting in, in the vise and my little clamp here. Uh, it's only on part way. Um, you know, this actually makes it a little easier by hand. Gives me something really to push against, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get one of these clamps set up on here. Do this. These quick 
seat clamp things here. Come on. There's one side, it'll stay there. No, it's not gonna stay. This is the one on here. Okay, so hey. Crappy camera work, but here we go. Got it clamped on there. It's already halfway on, so we just give a little squeeze on this side, a little squeeze on that side. Keep going back and forth here, keeping it even best we can. See that baby just gliding down on the fitting. It's almost there. That's it, that baby's seated. And, uh, <laughs> gotta admit, that's pretty handy. A lot less swearing than I was doing the, the other fittings. Not bad. I'm real happy with it. Thanks for tuning in.